Well, there are certain things in the fall that are here and gone really quickly. High school football games, mm -hmm. sometimes the leaves as we're seeing, so True. fall colors and a certain kind of beer that you may never have heard of before. This morning, Jason Duresha is taking his food segment to the hops field where fresh hop beers are all the rage. It's a great time of year for beer. That's saying something when it comes from Matty O'Reilly. 56 taps at his Republic in Uptown's Calhoun Square and same deal at Minneapolis's Seven Corners. Right now, a few will be reserved for these only in fall beers called fresh or wet hop. The fresh hop beers actually use the whole hop immediately after it's harvested. Most beers use dried hop pellets during the brewing process. Hops add bitterness, flavor, and aroma. And these beers actually um, use the hops that are run basically right from the field straight to the brewery to actually capture the essence and the oils and the, the uh, aromatic um, properties of the hop in its whole form, which is really cool. Fulton Brewing in Minneapolis has gone so far as to buy some farmland near St. Cloud where they grow their own hops. They harvested their own Cascade hops and raced them down to the brewery to make this beer. It's really good. Really too. good. That's yep. very nice. Mm -hmm. Finishes so smooth. Drying hops takes away some of the oils, so wet hops have a more vibrant smell. Do you get more aroma, you think, with the wet hop style? Yeah, I think that's the, the principle of it is that it really captures that natural essence of the hop, mm -hmm. which, you know, can in some cases be super citrusy, piney. Stillwater's Lift Bridge uses local hops too in their harvester ale. This one too, I think super balanced and they, they a lot of malt, mm -hmm. you know, caramel in the, the backbone of this. Indeed in Northeast Minneapolis brings in 1,200 pounds of hops from Washington. They brew four batches of beer within 24 hours. Interesting, the blueberry notes are in there. Yeah. And it is piney. Just like the autumn leaves, by the end of October, the fresh hopped beers will be gone. And that's part of what makes them so exciting. And then when it's gone, it's gone, and you have to wait till next year. All right, thank you, Jason. Next Saturday afternoon, Minneapolis St. Paul Magazine is hosting a Harvest Beer Festival that will feature the first ever fresh hop throwdown. That's going to go from 3 until 7 p.m. at the American Swedish Institute. Dozens of local breweries there sampling their beers, and tickets are 30 bucks. More info at WCCO.com slash links. We'll